All right, hi guys, Richard here. Um, today I am uh, starting a new series. It's an open world MMO series. I'm going to work with you basically from start to finish and help you basically get your MMO working with an with a online subsystem and hopefully run a dedicated server. I'm doing some research right now and I'm going to try to also show you how to set up a um, updating system using an online FTP server that I actually found is quite useful uh, for these situations. Um, so today I'm just going to open up a blank project, well not a blank project, an empty third person project and I'm going to call it Open MMO Tutorials. Alright, I want to start off here by uh, letting you guys know that my laptop is a piece of crap. Um, as soon as we get past this point, uh, my screen will start flickering and, and there might be some errors going on here. Um, I'm going to do my best to provide all the assets that I use. If you guys get stuck, you can download them. Um, also, if I help you out, I'm also looking for donations because this <laughs> I definitely need to upgrade my hardware here and anything that you guys want to put towards this project uh, that'd be greatly appreciated anybody that wants to make donations there's a GoFundMe link in the description and uh, yeah so those that donate I'll definitely uh, salute to on my next videos first things um, yeah, so anyway, just uh, open up a third person project and in this episode we're just going to get everything initialized, set up, um, so we don't have to come back to it uh, countless times during the project. And uh, we're going to go through inputs and character setup and uh, variables today. And then the next episode we're going to start making... Uh, uh, the heads up display and the UI and everything um, for the game along with probably the level as well. Um, this shows up because I have the, the VREST or VARREST plugin installed. Um, that's for my previous login system tutorial. Now we might go the route of the login system. If not, it's not hard to incorporate into the game. Um, but at this moment, I'm going to dismiss this. Alright, so now we're in the empty third person project, and this is what we begin with. Now, keep in mind I'm running 4.16.1, and I know 4.17's out, but uh, it's still brand new, and Unreal's already talking about 4.18, and uh, 4.17 still has compatibility issues with some of the plugins and content that's released in the marketplace, so I don't know. They need to, I think they need to fix that before they move on to the next um, 4.18. Um, anyway, so this is probably where my screen's going to start glitching out. Um, so you want to go into edit, and yeah, there it is, um, project settings. <coughs> so now we're going to scroll down, we're going to go to input. And in here, this is where we um, put our inputs for functionality of how the character moves and like say interacting with stuff in the world um, so basically uh, I'm going to explain this quick for those that are just starting into this axes are uh, a float value between minus one to one um, so the farther you move a stick or a joystick or a mouse um, either left or right or up and down it'll change a float value uh, between those values. Actions is either 0 or 1. Uh, there is no in-between. That's basically just how it how, how they work. Um, so I'm not going to make a virtual reality one. So I'm going to close or turn that one off here. Now we have jump. So I'm going to add another one. And I'm going to call this interact. And then I'm going to add another one. This is going to be uh, crouch and let's see uh, we'll 
do pause and let's make an inventory one because every MMO has an inventory. Inventory. Now, I apologize if uh, my spelling's not the greatest. But anyway, interact. So right now you're running around with the WASD keys. Um, so interact, I think I'm going to make E because it's not too far off. I'm going to go keyboard E, crouch. I'm going to use left control. Um, pause is obviously going to be escape. And inventory is going to be I. Um, so we got jump, interact, crouch, pause, inventory. Uh, yeah, that should be that should be good. So we'll just close over that, and we'll go into blueprints. To actually, bring up, open up this here. Um, we're gonna organize this because when it comes to to uh, cooking out the final game. It's just going to be a lot easier. Well, actually, for the updating system that I'm looking into, it's actually um, needed. So if you guys plan on on uh, doing an updating system, this is what you'll have to do. So we're going to add a new folder. I'm going to call this. It has to be named Maps. And just for reference, I'm going to make it yellow just because levels are yellow. Now I'm going to add another folder. I'm going to name this materials. And another folder. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that one. Well, yeah, why not? New folder, blueprints. And another folder, characters. So I'm going to name this, or set this color to blue, for obvious reasons. This color, I'm going to make a light green. Materials, I'm going to make purple. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to third person blueprint maps and we're going to drag everything into there. Every map you can come across. Yeah. We're going to freeze for a second here. There we go. Just needs to load the maps into the cache. done. We're going to do a little more as we go along here. Um, got all of our maps, so everything's in there. So I'm going to get rid of, let's see, advanced lighting. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's create a new level in maps. I'm going to call this main menu. We're going to open this up. Save everything. Since 
since we're in main menu, I'm gonna get rid of everything else. Okay. So we'll save. Now that we're in main menu, we need to go to edit, project settings. Maps and modes. Starter map, main menu, and main menu. Alright, perfect. Okay. So we're going to go into characters. Open up the characters. Now, we're going to get rid of the VR stuff. Because we got rid of the virtual reality uh, setup there. And all this stuff. I'm going to move over. Just to make it a little bit more organized. Alright, so we need to add a bunch of variables. So we're going to add a boolean. We're going to call it interacting. And we're going to add float. And go health. We're going to add another float. We're going to call this max health. Uh, let's do another one. Let's call it stamina. Uh, max stamina. Health, max health, stamina, max stamina. Uh, now we're going to get into some integers. We're going to call this money. Everybody has to buy something. Uh, we're going to add XP, XP needed, and level, and we're going to move these into, we're going to create a category, and we're going to call it traits, so each one of these is going to be traits, traits, there's an easier way. Drag and drop. Money. Experience. XP needed. This one. And we're going to put this into uh, functionality. Okay. We're going to put this one into functionality and this one into functionality. We're going to compile now so we can get our default set. So our health, let's say, is uh, 100. Max health is 100. Stamina will also say is 100. Max stamina is another 100. Money is 0, XP 0, XP needed. Okay, so let's do... Uh, let's do... Uh, what do you call this here? An experience setup okay so we're gonna go like this we're gonna go um, let's do custom event add XP okay we're gonna say make this run on owning client which basically means that the server is going to drop or drop the bomb on our experience and it's going to cast to us and run this function so in here we want to take xp get experience and we're going to add experience add 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 add, 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 add. Why isn't it showing up? There it is, integer plus integer. Okay, we're going to add an input. XP gained. Okay. And then we're going to take our XP and we're going to set it. And all in all, the 
this should be uh, set on the server itself, but we're going to get to the networking side in later videos. Um, so then we will go, this is equal to or greater than true equal to greater than <coughs> experience needed we're going to take a branch okay if it is more we are going to take level leave it like this because what's going to happen is you're going to get to 100 experience points let's say 101 just to make this easy and that's going to go through here and if it's not 101 it's going to fire this setting your or boosting your level to the next level but it's going to keep your your uh, uh sorry your uh experience points at 101. So what we are going to do in this case is we're going to go to XP, get XP, we're going to set it. Okay. And we are going to set it by taking XP needed, subtracting experience, it so what we're gonna do is you needed a hundred experience points to hit the next level so then we need to carry over the extra that one experience points into the XP value so now it'll drop down to one and set your experience back to one point um, that being said we need to also move up to the next experience level so we will add to, uh, we'll set XP needed to XP, let's, let's, let's say this is 100 right now, okay, we're going to compile, okay, XP needed, we're going to get XP needed, and we are going to, let's say, multiply it. Let's multiply it. So every time you go up a level, it's going to take what you needed the last level and multiply it by what we'll call a modifier. So we will go to uh, multiply float but or integer by float, integer. And let's say 2. Why not? We'll, we'll double the experience points for the next level. That way it's going to make it harder for like the... If you hit like level 30, it's going to be like 170,000 or something like that. Who knows? Okay, we'll come back to that. Actually, you know what? Let's make this an uh, variable. Sorry. Let's actually... We'll delete that. Multiply by a float. Okay. And then we'll just tie that into there. And that, what this is going to do is going to round everything out. See, see, it says rounds, rounds a to an integer with a truncation towards zero. So 1.7 trunked to one, 2.8 trunked to two. Uh, I think there's a round actually round. Yeah, let's do this. I think this will do uh, the halves. It's more more reasonable. 
Okay. Now we're going to do this. We're going to add a variable. And we're going to call this XP or level XP modifier. So we'll compile this and we'll go 1.75. So if we needed a hundred, a hundred uh, experience points, now we're gonna need 175. And then it's gonna be 300 for the next run, and more and more and more. Uh, yeah, that sh that that'll work for now. That's gonna slow down the leveling process that's for sure instead of it just going every hundred points um, so I'm gonna back this up I'm gonna take this I'm gonna collapse this to a function and I say uh, set XP check levels check level set XP and check level there we go so see how that came in with an integer right there? So we're going to say XP added XP. There we go. Now I'm just going to comment this. I'm going to say um, add XP and level up if needed. Now, the reason I put this into a function is because later on when we get into like skill points and uh, perks, like say you have uh, a multiply by one for a damage modifier. If you're, if you're carrying, let's say an AK-47 and it does 26 damage uh, per hit, um, the modifier will be one, so you'll const at at uh, level one. You'll constantly set uh, 26 damage per hit. So now we can do a modifier that will, uh, as you level up, it'll increase by very small increments. So like level two, you'll do 27 damage, and then by level 10, you'll do like 90. Let's say I'm just pulling that out of my head, but uh, we'll do that. So we'll compile. Now let's do uh, what I like to do here is I like to turn this green just to say that it works. Okay. Now we're going to do one for health. Okay. So we can take, I don't know how, if you guys are going to do like an auto generating health. Uh, or if you need to collect like bandages or something like that, but in this one we'll do uh, item item based healing. So we will go to we'll take our health. We'll get our health. Pile. Um, let's do damage first. Take. damage there we go on events when the actor takes point damage so this is called from the server okay so we're gonna get this we're gonna subtract float by float okay and then we're gonna set health Clamp this first clamp. Uh, map range clamp. Uh, min max. Min max. Set. Uh, what the heck is that? Max. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's clamp. Clamp. Yeah, there it is. 
is that that's clamp here. Okay. Set. And we're gonna take max health, stack it on max. Alright. And then we're gonna go like this. Now we're gonna take this and if it's equal to or less than zero. Than zero, we are going to let's add you know what? Okay, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna call sorry about that. Alright, sorry about that. Um I'm gonna anyway, let's get back to it. Add to custom event, and we're gonna say die. Okay. This we're gonna work on later. This is gonna this is gonna pull our death thing here, and I want it to run on the server. Okay. Compile. Now I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna comment it. Uh, the server calls death. Because you don't want uh, the client to tell when he's dead. Not only that, but if you're running with a group of friends, you might die, and your dude would probably just be standing there on their screen if uh, <laughs> you see that you're dead. Your friends will see that you're standing there doing nothing, and they'll get really mad at you. And we're going to make this reliable, sorry. They're going to get really mad at you because you're not doing anything well zombies or a grizzly bear or whatever the heck you got in your in your game is chewing your arms off um on the upside though i guess they can use you as bait <laughs> um so we're gonna leave this here we're gonna and i'm gonna color comment red just to say we're coming back to it so now basically we're gonna take damage and then if it's equal to or less than zero. We're gonna call die. Okay? If owning client reliable replicated to server. If owning client. That should work. Now we need to tie this all together. Let's let's make it pretty. I just somewhat try to be organized with these. So now I'm going to collapse this into a function. Take damage. Okay. And we're going to call this variable damage dealt. this, we're going to comment it, take damage, and move it down here, and I'm going to leave that white because we're going to get into the UI in the next video, and then that way we can actually see our experience change, and we can see our damage change, um, then we can start working on the death functionality, that actually gets pretty fun, we'll start using ragdoll. Uh, we'll just have to see how long that next video takes, I guess, in the UI, because sometimes it can take quite a while. Um, so, anyway, thank you for joining. Uh, we're going to leave this here. We're going to save. Actually, you know what? Just to think, oh, there's no map here. Let's, let's do this. Let's add a terrain. We're going to make it small. You know what? It doesn't need to be huge. This is the main menu, so nothing's happening on here. It's just for looks, basically. Um, I like to go with a live view main menu. 
um, but we'll get in that in the next video. So we're going to do this, we're going to go grass for now, and we are going to drop this down to one and one. Now I'm going to create, shouldn't take long, and then I'm going to go to sky sphere, right? And light. Uh, let's add a light, uh, directional light. Okay. Now we're going to go to our sky sphere and we're going to tell it that we put a light in the world. And now we're going to take our directional light. Uh, and I'm going to rotate it. So it is dark. So then I'm going to go back to the sky sphere and I'm going to refresh it. Well, it's not dark enough. It's not nighttime enough for this guy. I like nighttime. Uh, sky sphere. Refresh material. That is starting to look better. Alright, so we're going to leave it like this and I'm going to go Control Shift S. And we are done for right now. Now, I hope this helped you. We're going to continue on in the next video shortly here. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day. If you like this video, if I helped you out, uh, remember, I'm trying to raise money to build a better system to help with uh, better quality videos, I guess, better content. And I'm going to release like these. I built, uh, I made seamless textures and, and got the normals for it. So, like, stuff like that I'll release to you guys and you can download it. Um, yeah, yeah, help me help you guys. I appreciate it much. Uh, GoFundMe links in the description. Be uh, subscribed for more videos. Pay attention because we're going to get some videos rolling into YouTube as quick as, can, as quick as we can. Take her easy.